Yo guys, what is happening more with Total Games and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Build a City series back here in the new world. And uh, I'm excited about today. I'm actually really excited about today because I got some cool things to show you and some cool things that we're going to be working on. I want to get right into it here. Uh, but we are downtown and I'm trying to remember where the heck we left off, what we did last episode. We did something over here, didn't we? It was just this kind of very basic office building, which I think still turned out well and it's a good kind of face spiller. Um, but what we're doing right now is uh, is actually not going to involve the downtown area, and I'm very excited to get into it. Essentially, what I'm thinking we can go ahead and do is I wanted to kind of build out, uh, you know, more of the residential neighborhood. But we initially had kind of planned out and laid out the city uh, in the first episode of this new series. Uh, we didn't really focus too much, or enough, I should say. Sorry, my recording just cut out, but we didn't really focus enough on the residential uh, area. And as I was kind of starting to build out the mall and a couple other things, I realized that that was actually something that I wanted to pay a little bit more attention to and build out a little bit more. Just because I find that if I spend too much time building skyscrapers and in the city and whatnot, it kind of will, uh, you know, kind of start to drive me a little bit nuts, to be honest. I kind of like to kind of, you know, go around and do different sorts of types of builds depending on what I'm feeling. And one of the things that we didn't really allow a lot of room for was uh, to expand a residential neighborhood kind of area. So what I'm thinking is I'll show you what I've designed. In this case, I'm specifically talking about this area right in here, which is actually going to be a little nice like mansion area back in here. And it's just going to be this nice little windy road. But, uh, you know, we left this much room as kind of like a lower density, a uh, couple little industrial areas. But I'm thinking maybe we'll, you know, have a little thing where we can go around the mountain here and have maybe another little residential area over here or even build out something on the other side of the river here. So, um, but for right now, we're going to be working on this little section in here, which is going to be a little bit of a curved road, almost something like this. That connects back into the main uh, the main road system. So I'm excited to take a look at what we've done. I've actually started it uh, already, which is uh, which is pretty cool. And I already have one house in there. So let's go ahead now and uh, go over to the entrance of it, and I'll show you guys what I've done. So here we are, right at the entrance of it. If we look back, this is kind of the end of the hill. It's going to cut the curve around. I'm not going to show too much over that way. Uh, but this is where we're going to be probably having a couple more buildings in here and whatnot. Uh, but if we kind of take a look here, we've got this nice little gatehouse as a uh, entrance into the neighborhood. And if we kind of break through here, we can see. A pretty good example of what it's going to look like. I wanted these windy roads. Uh, they're not going to be marked. I'm just going to leave them black like this. I wanted these little pathways on the side that you could walk down. And let's just walk around here to our first house in the neighborhood, which I'm really excited about. So as we continue down the road, we can see we got lots of trees. And this is actually it right in here. And I wanted these to be very secluded, very hard to see from the road, even though this is a private road. Um, but this one, I think, is a nice little start. And it's not by any means a big mansion, but I think it's just a nice, you know, it'd probably be, you know, few million dollars uh, in, in you know the, the high value real estate in the New York area and in a place like this although we are kind of going for like more of a tropical climate you know this is definitely something that you could use uh, throughout the season uh, but I'll give you a little house tour because I did furnish it and whatnot uh, we have a garage off to the uh, the left here when you walk in a nice little uh, you know kitchen area and a, and a dining room uh, nice or sorry main dining room right here maybe a little breakfast table or whatever right there uh, living room down here and then we have a nice little bush Coming outside, we got this kind of indoor, outdoor sliding doors that would open right up. We have this nice little, uh, nice little uh, seating area, a uh, little pool, and then a, uh, a tree and a couch, and then as well as a little like barbecue. And then hanging upstairs, right when you enter, we enter this nice little kind of master bedroom over here with a couple lounge chairs. Uh, we have a nice little kind of sitting area up here as well with a sofa. Another bedroom right here, a nice little couch in there. And I believe there's one more bedroom right here with a balcony as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this little house turned out. And I'm thinking that we can do some more things just like it. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do now is we're going to hop over here and just give you a little bit of an overview of the neighborhood. Pretty straightforward. The hill is just going to follow it kind of around back here and uh, do some sort of circle. But this is the space that we're working in. Not a very big space at all. I totally get that. But I wanted to do something with regards to these kind of houses. And what we're going to be working on today is going to be a house going in uh, probably right behind this one. Yeah, so I do this, we'll probably line up the fences just like so. I'm going to try to get rid of all the flowers here on the inside because they're not going to be able to fill. And then we should be able to just fill in some grass here. All right, all the flowers are gone. That should be the only issues that we'd run into. So I'm going to go out to here. And yeah, this should be the corner of the lot right here. Cool, and what I'm going to basically do is just fill this in with grass all the way over to here. Except we are going to use the keep command so we don't run into any sort of issues. So Minecraft uh, grass blocks. And now you can see that the grass stayed. So now we just got to do grass blocks, replace uh, Minecraft, and then grass. And this will get rid of all of those and we are good to go. All right. So I'm thinking for this one, actually, I want to make it a little bit more traditional. I want the driveway to it to be off to the side here. And I'll show you what I'm planning 
that should be enough for a driveway. And I'm just trying to think about how I want to lay out this house, though. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure if I actually want the driveway exactly there. Let me figure this out a little bit. We're definitely going to continue the leaf pattern here, but I think we need a little bit of room because what I want to start with is a little garage right here. So we are going to be designing a full house here, and what we're going to be starting with is a nice little two-car garage coming off the house. I'll probably leave the garage at that height, and then we'll go ahead and should we connect the house to the garage? I'm not even sure. I guess maybe we will. Yeah, why not? We'll kind of use this brick and sandstone color wave, and we'll see how that kind of looks. All right, this is basically going to be it. So we're going to have our entrance over here, and we're going to have this nice little kind of, uh, not patio, but what do they call it? Like a nice little, uh, I don't know, an entry area? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is having this nice little front entrance, and then we're going to come around here, give it a nice little squared off area right here. We're going to have the main entrance to the house actually right here, like on the other side. We'll come back like so, and then maybe we'll just kind of curve it around like this. It's not going to be a super big house by any means, but it will do the trick for what we're trying to trying to do here. There we go. That will work out just fine, I think, as a basic little layout. I've just done these all in basically three wide sections. So if you want to pause it below, except for that one's five, the rest of them are all spaced three apart. Uh, if you are trying to build this, I'm not going to make this again a full tutorial, but if you are wanting to kind of copy this uh, design, go ahead. And that was kind of the, you know, pause the video there and see if you can figure it out. But uh, again, it is a pretty straightforward design, I think. And uh, if you wanted to do it yourself, you could. Anyway, I think this is going to turn out pretty nicely overall. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the garage at this height, but um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to raise it by one. And I'm also thinking that I'm going to use some spruce planks here. Uh, for the side of the house, but I'm not sure if we're going to do that just yet. Or not for the side of the house, for the roof of the house. And uh, I don't know. We'll try out maybe a couple things, but I'm thinking that will look the best. Just doing a flat wall here on the back. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's not the nicest view for these guys, but I think it's better than having windows kind of intruding on the privacy of the space next door. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just build these all up in these sectional pieces like so. And I'll do that for kind of the entire house here, and we'll move on after we do that with filling them in with windows and whatnot. All right, so I've got the whole thing pretty much framed in now. I'm trying to think about what to do over here because we do have a little bit of room, but obviously I don't think I want to put in a pool because it's just a little bit of a weird it's a weird spot for a pool. I don't know what we'll be able to fit. It will be kind of a weird fit because it is all in the front of the house. Anyway, what we will do is we'll add a gate in right here, uh, which will probably have to be about this big, and we will build a, uh, a road going into it just like so. We'll take down this tree, and that will give us enough room to get a uh, you know a basic road in there. Or a driveway, I guess I should call it, not a road. But anyway, I'm actually kind of thinking that we go for the stone brick as the uh, as the driveway material here. I think it will look best. Anyway, the driveway will come in here like so, and then we'll probably put in a couple, like a little fountain or something over on the other side. I'm not sure yet, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. And you know what I actually realized? We might do a little bit more landscaping here, but for the sake of the thumbnail of this video, when the house is done, I'm actually not going to put the fence up just yet. Because whenever I do, I immediately find it very difficult to get a good picture of the house. And just, you know, again, I want to make it look good. So... We'll leave this half of the fence up on the other side here, and I'll go ahead and do that off camera and show you guys it next episode. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to copy this grass pattern coming along with the hedges. Uh, anyway, let's move on now to the house. In fact, the white quartz could be a really nice touch to this house. And in fact, I think that's what we're going to end up using. It's either that or the spruce wood, which could also look really cool. And it's a very hard choice here, actually. Um, I don't know. I'm going to leave those there to think about. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of these windows now with the sandstone. Then we'll get some glass in them. I'm actually going to leave this middle one open here, and what we're going to do is actually build it out by one like so, and we're going to make this into a fireplace. I think that's just a nice little design on a traditional house like this, so we'll leave it like that and see how that looks. All right, so the house is pretty much all framed in now, looking pretty good, and uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the white roof, I think. It's just you know going to give us another whole color here. And uh, I'm trying to debate if I should do anything fancy with the roof, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to do a very traditional, uh, you know, Minecraft roof. I know it's not the most exciting thing on the planet. However, it does fit the house, I think, best. If we go ahead and start doing some big, huge, uh, you know, open roofs, which I, I don't even know how to explain because I don't, I don't know how to, how, do, how do you explain roofs? Like the ones that, you know, have the big pitch that kind of do this kind of thing. Uh, hold on. Like that, you know, I feel like those are not going to suit this house very well. I feel like we just, it's better just to have one that goes around the outside. And I know you guys know that I love my roofs, but in this case, I think we are just going to have to go with something a little bit more basic that just goes up simply like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get a start on building this thing and we'll see how it goes. Lucky for me, it's not a super big area of roof that we do have to cover. So we should be able to get it done here pretty well and pretty quickly. And I think it will end up looking really good on this certain house. Yeah, that white roof is uh, is definitely bright, but I think it definitely looks good on the house, which is a, uh, a good call. 
All right, about halfway finished the roof now, and it's already looking pretty good. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. Uh, the chimney might have to go a little bit higher. But I'm glad that we added the chimney as well. I think it's a nice little bit of detail there. I'm actually super excited to do the inside of this house. Unfortunately, we're not going to have time for it in today's video, but I'll show you guys coming in the next episode what I end up doing with it. Uh, it's not really a center hall design, obviously, but I am going to kind of follow uh, follow that sort of idea and concept in building this. Every uh, you know room is going to be its own room versus it. Every room is going to be its own room. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be an open concept, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Every, you know, every, uh, you know, living room is going to be its own boxed in room, probably with its own doors even, uh, you know, very kind of old and old style and traditional. Um, so I think it will end up being really cool. I think we're at the point where we can probably just cap this off now. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go around one more time. I think that will work just great. And then we'll cap this off right here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Should we go around and do another layer right here? Do you guys think or no? Yeah, actually, that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and do that layer right here. There we go. I'm liking this house. And uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do is add some black stained glass into all the windows. All right, windows are all in. Now we just need a couple doors here on both sides. And uh, and yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, it's garage time. The garages are going to be made of the, uh, you know, the conventional spruce wood. My favorite types of garages in terms of looks. Um, just because I think they look super modern, especially on modern houses. You can use this design. It looks really cool. I will go ahead and add some black stained glass in there, and those kind of represent those. Even add a little button there for you know, a little extra detail. Uh, on the side here, we might just go ahead and frame this in. I might do like a little window here with some stained glass or black stained glass. Yeah, that's going to do just fine, but then we'll just end up doing that, I think. I guess I go all the way up with it. Why not? And, uh, you know, we'll get a nice view into the garage there, but that'll be it. And then we will obviously have to add the roof for the garage now, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, and there's actually the garage done. I think that's actually going to conclude the house. Uh, I just want to extend this walkway as the last kind of final thing that we do here. Leaving room, of course, to get into the garages. And also, we'll extend it over to the uh, to the front door. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. Uh, obviously, there's still a lot of work that needs to go into this house that needs to have an interior done. I'm actually going to raise this chimney up by one, uh, maybe. Does that look too tall? Or is that kind of right in the range of where I want it? And then we could even go ahead and do like a little cap on the chimney here that looks something like this let's just try that out yeah i don't mind that that's uh, not bad the other option that we could do for it and uh this might work out just fine as well is just doing something like this yeah i like that actually much better so i'm gonna go ahead with that uh that is going to do it though for today's video guys unfortunately i am out of time this episode is already running a little bit long for me so we are going to end it there. I'm pretty happy, though, with the progress we made on that mansion. And now we have a couple nice houses in here. That one looks quite a bit larger. But uh, I like it. It's very traditional looking. It definitely uh, succeeded at what I wanted it to look like. And, uh, yeah, it looks great from the street as well. So really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to end the video there, though. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to go down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video.